Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus Show. Happy Friday. And yes, Kyle Rudolph, Jeremy Fowler, sprinkling some gasoline on the little fire of the thought of Kyle Rudolph reuniting with the Minnesota Vikings. Jeremy Fowler tweeting out yesterday that uh, the Vikings and Kyle Rudolph reuniting is not off the table, which is probably the biggest news we've heard in this scenario since Kyle Rudolph went on KFAN and professed his love and how much he wanted to come back for the Vikings. Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the channel, like the videos here every damn day, talking Minnesota Vikings. Also, this show is brought to you by Liftbridge Brewing, the best damn beer around it is friday i don't care if it's morning get your butts over to the liquor store pick up a refreshing refreshing case or two of lift bridge brewing also hashtag lift bridge down in the comments for a chance to win 75 bucks to lift bridge um where you can get some beer get some swag go online in their store get some glasses whatever you want so check out lift bridge but let's talk some Kyle rudolph so jeremy Fowler naming the vikings and the bucks uh specifically as two teams that could possibly be interested in the in the big old husky aging tight end let's look at the bucks quick if you're kyle rudolph how can you, how can this not be very exciting the thought of going to play with tom brady the thought of possibly going and actually getting a championship ring so just because the vikings are interested and as much as kyle rudolph made it clear he wants to play here that will be very intriguing but who gives a crap about the bucks let's talk vikings how does this make sense for the vikings well first off it's got to be cheap kyle rudolph can't come here expecting to make $5 million, like whatever he was with the Giants. Um, why I like this for the Vikings is very clear. He was with the Giants last year. Look at it. That was pretty much an off season. That doesn't even count. When you play a season with the Giants, especially when you were a pass catching tight end, he had a brace. He is going to come in refreshed. He's going to come in very excited. And uh, even though he's elderly at this point, he's still got a little left in the tank. He's not going to come in and be tight end one. He's not going to be the Kyle Rudolph of 2014 or whatever he was. He's going to come in. He's going to be a nice backup, which the Vikings don't currently have. Irv Smith, love the thought of what he could bring. Love love everything about his potential. We just haven't seen it yet. The guy's got to stay healthy, and he's coming off an injury. We don't know what he has. Irv Smith goes down. Johnny Munt's out there. Ben Ellison's out there. Nick Muse is out there. I know everybody, Kevin O'Connell, his offense isn't really heavily involved with the tight end, but when you're on the nine-yard line, you're telling me you don't want Kyle Rudolph in the back of that end zone putting those big old mitts up. So I love it. I love the thought of it coming in at a decent price. I love the thought of him coming in, adding some depth. This isn't, this wouldn't be a move where it would be just a feel good story where they're just bringing him in for the fan base. They're bringing him in because the Vikings right now are set up to win right now. Look at the moves they made off this off season. They want to win. They think they can win right now. And adding a piece like Kyle Rudolph, regardless of what team you are, majority of the teams, if you bring Kyle Rudolph in as a backup or as just a role player in the red zone, your team will be better. So that is key. He makes his team better. Let me know in the comments just with a yes or a no. Do you want him back? Do you not want him back? Remember, hashtag Liftridge down in the comments, and I will be checking Jeremy Fowler's tweets hot and heavy to see if this is picking up any more steam. Once again, subscribe, hashtag Liftridge. We'll be back later.